Today I'm going to show you how to get the Shrouded Ghost figurehead. Alright, first things first, I just want to say this figurehead is not time limited. You should be able to get this theoretically forever. Now, to get this figurehead, you just need to complete one commendation. Hunter of the Shrouded Ghost. Now this commendation is notorious for both being super easy to get and one of the hardest commendations in the entire game to get. Due to the fact that you can't work towards it at all and you just have to get extraordinarily lucky one time. So it's easy to get if you're lucky enough to get a chance to get it. Now this commendation has been in the game for several years now. So if you want to double check if you have it, go into your menu, pirate log, reputation, build rats, and on the second page here, click on shrouded spoils. It should be right here. Hunter of the Shrouded Ghost. Now, to get this commendation, all you have to do is defeat the Shrouded Ghost once in a chance encounter. Now, just to clarify, in a chance encounter was added recently, just to say you don't get it from the current adventure. So just to keep it as notorious as it is, you can only get it from a chance encounter and cannot get it from the Shrouded Deep adventure. Also, hey, quick side note, I realized this after finishing the video. Uh, the Shrouded Ghost figurehead is only obtainable before and after the Shrouded Deep event. So if you defeat the Shrouded Ghost between now and May 12th, you won't be able to get the figurehead. So you won't be able to get it from the adventure, and I'm pretty sure mags are disabled during this update, but if you do run into the Shrouded Ghost outside of the adventure during this update, you also won't get the figurehead. So just, just thought I'd mention that. <laughs> but since it's new, I did want to make a video on it, even if it isn't quite accurate yet. Also, sorry for the background footage I'm using, it's from my Twitch streams, because this is actually the only footage I have of the Shrouded Ghost ever. So, sorry that my face is in it. Also, if you wanted to, you know, hang out for one of these streams, link in the description to my, my Twitch. So, let's break this down. If you didn't know, while you're sailing, there is a small chance that you will suddenly hear some music, and a Megalodon will emerge from the depths behind you. This Megalodon can be one of five types. And each of these types has a different percent chance of spawning getting progressively rare. Now I'm gonna give you some percentages. I have no idea if these are accurate percentages, but I just saw someone saying these were the percentages somewhere and that seemed to be pretty accurate to my experience. So I haven't actually tried tracking them myself. So take these numbers with a grain of salt as they're closer to an estimate or approximation than fact. First, the most common is the hungry one with a 40% chance of spawning. Next is the crested queen with 30 then Shadow Maw with 20, then the Ancient Terror with 10, followed by the Shrouded Ghost with zero. Now, the reason this is zero is because this specific amount was calculated by getting a couple hundred Megalodon encounters and tracking the amounts of which one they got. And there were zero Shrouded Ghosts in that. So I'm gonna actually say Shrouded Ghost spawn is about 0.1%. That's one in a thousand. So if you run into this guy, there's one right here, this is the Shrouded Ghost. Fight it. I don't care what you're doing. Drop everything and fight this Megalodon. If you don't, chances are you will regret it later. The amount of people I have seen say that they have seen the Shrouded Ghost, but at the time didn't know what it was, so they didn't fight it, is absurd. I've probably seen more people saying they've seen it and not defeated it, than people saying they have defeated it. So seriously, fight it if you see it. All right, now actual Megalodon combat. So once it spawns, make sure you drop anchor or raise sails pretty much immediately. It has a set hunting ground, and if you leave that area, it will de-aggro and swim away and despawn. If it does that, turn your ship around and try and drive back into its hunting grounds. It might spawn again, but it's not guaranteed. Also try and steer clear of shallow water. If you go near an island or something, it will also de-aggro. Now, when you're actually finding it, I recommend dropping anchor and raising sail, and then just shoot it with your cannons as many times as you can. If you have tridents, they can also be really good for killing them, but basically just do a whole bunch of damage to it and it will eventually die. It pretty much just continuously circles around your ship and then occasionally will go in for a bite, which basically it'll charge your ship and then bite down on it really hard. If the Megalodon takes an amount of damage while charging, it will actually cancel its attack. So if it's going for your cannons, shoot as much as you can. On a sloop, it only takes two cannonballs to cancel its attack. I'm not sure what it is on a brig or galleon, but still try and hit as much as you can. Now, when it does hit your ship, it does exactly 50% of your health. So try and stay above 50% whenever you can. Now, once you've defeated the Meg, it'll do this jump into the sky thing and then fall back into the water. That means you've defeated it and you should now get your commendation. Also, it will drop a bunch of loot, so check the water afterwards. All right, now on to the tips. Now, very first thing, 
to me, it seems like if you find a Megalodon and then leave its hunting ground and it despawns, the same Megalodon can come back later. So, like, for instance, I'll be playing, run into an Ancient Terror, then 30 minutes later run into another Ancient Terror, which is probably the same because of how rare Ancient Terrors are. And this has happened several times. So, if you do get a Shrouded and you lose it, just keep sailing around for a while and maybe it'll respawn? It's a big maybe, though. But that also means, to make it more likely to run into a ghost, take out every single Megalodon you see. Though I'm not 100% sure that increases its chance, but can't hurt, right? Alright, now there is actually a way to force spawn a Megalodon. It's still a 0.1% or whatever chance, but there is actually a way to force spawn it. At least, I'm pretty sure. I've tested it three times, all three times it worked. I'll try and be as vague as possible, but spoiler warning for the ninth original storyline Talta, uh, which I'm going to tell you the name now, Shores of Gold. Most people have probably done it by now, but just in case. Once you've completed that tall tale and are leaving the, uh, the island, if you head directly west towards Galleon's Grave, just straight west, after the Shroud Breaker uh, despawns off your ship, a bit after that, a Megalodon will spawn. You have to have cleared the tall tale, and it only spawns then. I'm pretty sure the Shroud Breaker has to despawn, and you have to have the, uh, the reward for defeating the final boss. Then you should hear the sound effect, and a Megalodon should spawn. Also, the Shrouded Ghost, according to the wiki, can be mistaken for the Crested Queen or Shadow Maw. So the best way to identify it at night is by its fin color. If its fins are these like peach kind of bright color, that's it. So it's the only Megalodon with solid colored eyes, which are these pink color. Also, once you do defeat the ghost and get the Hunter of the Shrouded Ghost title, it can take up to 72 hours for you to actually get your reward. If you still don't have it 72 hours after defeating the ghost, open a support ticket with the link in the description. This isn't exactly a tip, but I think it's cool. If you go to the link in the description that's like Megalodon Encounter Counter, that will lead you to your Sea of Thieves profile, like on the website, you'll have to log in. But then if you scroll down, you can see exactly how many Megalodons you've encountered, and then you know exactly how lucky or unlucky you are. For instance, at the moment of recording, I'm at 518 Megalodons encountered, and um, none of them were the ghost, unless it spawned while I wasn't looking, and then I would be really sad but pretty sure none of them were the ghost. Anyway, I think that is pretty much everything I have for you today. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments. I will transfer them as soon as possible, and I will see you guys next week. Bye.